So the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II has to be one of the most talked about flagship smartphones of 2020, helped along no end by the fact that this tall bugger was launched back in February and it wasn't actually released in stores until halfway through the year. Talk about building suspense. Well, at long last, I finally had my personal SIM card stuffed inside this bad boy for the past week or so. And I've got to say, despite that tooth grindingly high asking price, it's definitely one of my favorite smartphones of 2020 so far. But no, of course, it's certainly not for everyone, least of all those with little more than loose change and lint in their pockets. So here finally is my full Sony Xperia 1 Mark II review and go check out my unboxing, my camera review, my tips and tricks guide, all that good stuff for everything else you need to know about Sony's bad boy. And for more of the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, yeah, the design hasn't changed up all that much at all from last year. The Mark II is once again a long, thin slice of splendor, often comfortable grip thanks to that narrow frame, as well as the pleasingly rounded corners and edges. It's no longer all sharp, cutty bits like some of those Xperia's of yesteryears. And the phone has certainly got a decent heft to it as well, although thankfully it does feel well balanced when you're using it one-handed. You don't have to clutch it so tight that you actually cut off circulation to your fingers. And I still find Sony's phones very easy on the eye and a refreshing change from those rival handsets which quite often look like clones of one another. When you see a Sony, you know for damn sure that it's a Sony. I definitely wouldn't say no to another colour choice beyond black though, which seems to be the standard offered on Sony's website and via most retailers here in the UK, though Vodafone does at the moment have an exclusive on the mirrored slate version, which is kind of a dark purple. But seriously though, I'd love a bit of sultry green or sexy red or something like that as an alternative. All the same, I've got to say this handset sports a very smart finish and at least that dark surface does a fairly good job of hiding those greasy finger smudges. And like all the very best flagship smartphones, the Xperia 1 Mark II is one tough mother. You've got Gorilla Glass 6 plate in back as well as around the front as well and it's fully IP68 dust and water resistant so no worries if you want to take it a nice hot bubbly bath. Check your Instagram in the jacuzzi if you want to live that bolder lifestyle. And you know what, I certainly haven't been treating the Xperia 1 Mark II with kid gloves this past week. In fact, I've been a little bit rough on it and so far tiny little scratch on the back end here which is barely noticeable. You have to really, really squint to see it. Nothing on the screen at all so certainly that Gorilla Glass seems to be holding up. And it's also a relief to see the fingerprint sensor reintegrated into the power button there on the edge of the phone. Although that narrow scanner is sunken slightly below the surface, which seems to mess a little bit with responsiveness. I had absolutely no problem unlocking the Xperia 1 Mark II first time every time with my thumb, but I found that when I was trying to use my fingers instead, sometimes it took a couple of goes I'd have to adjust my grip a little bit. And no, sadly there's still no face and lock option here as a backup, which would have been really, really helpful whenever I had sticky mitts from a bit of barbecue and bacon, whatever. Still, once you do unlock the Xperia 1 Mark II, all is forgiven as soon as you catch a face full of that stunning Ultra HD OLED display. This is the first true sign that the Sony phone is something special, a visual feast of poppy colours and incredibly fine detail. When you're streaming full fat 4K video, it's really impossible not to be impressed. Unfortunately, I'm still finding now, even after the proper full UK release, that the Xperia 1 Mark II won't stream 4K content on the likes of Netflix, you have to look to the likes of YouTube instead. Definitely a real shame and not making the most of that Ultra HD display at all, but it's a situation that hopefully will improve very shortly and I'll update in the description below once that happens. But thankfully, you can stream HDR shows and movies over services like Netflix to enjoy that sharp contrast and natural looking colours. And even STR content at a lower resolution can be boosted so they look sharper and better with Sony's software smarts. And here on the Xperia 1 Mark II you get a quite impressive depth of customization for that display output as well, including some very fine manual tweaking of the white balance as well, although I found on the default levels you get some nice crisp whites, everything looks gorgeous anyway. This is definitely a feature for those dedicated photographers and the like. And Sony's creator mode makes a return here on the Mark II as well, giving any cinephiles out there an accurate representation of the director's visual intent. And I mean, most people won't give a stuff about that, but it's there if you want it. As for that 21 by 9 stretched aspect ratio, well, it's very well suited to movies, although not so much to classic telly. Watching a spot of Red Dwarf is like a throwback to those days of four inch smartphones where you have to squint to see what the hell's actually going on. But you've got to love the notch free full screen visuals when you're streaming supported content. In fact, the only proper regret here is the lack of 90Hz refresh rate action, which means that flipping between apps and skimming through your desktop certainly isn't as fluid as most competing flagships. You do have a smoother option there in the display settings, but it just ain't quite the same. But I did absolutely adore the audio experience here on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II 
not surprised at all because Sony always nails it. This is one of very few flagships with a proper headphone jack, although I usually just hook up a Bluetooth pair because the wireless chops are so damn good. I've never had any issues with connectivity, while the LDAC and high-res support means you get incredibly immersive full-bodied audio, complete with the option of scaling back the quality and preference of the performance if you ever find yourself in a busy area. And anyone who loves to mess around with an equalizer to boost the bass or scale the treble or whatever will be right at home too with the fully customizable Dolby feature. And those dual speakers are seriously beefy on top volume as well and they're actually front firing as well so you get a proper stereo effect when you're enjoying a movie and especially a bit of gaming as well if you don't have a pair of headphones to hand. Although that dynamic vibration system nonsense is still a rumbly bag of arse which is definitely left switched off. And speaking of beefy, as far as the performance goes here on the Xperia 1 Mark II, well, you've got a Snapdragon 865 stuck away inside with a healthy 8 gigs of RAM to keep your apps running smoothly. In fact, the Xperia 1 Mark II is a proper gamer's delight. The likes of PUBG and Call of Duty play with a perfect frame rate, and that 21 by 9 display offers a wide view of the action, so you can clearly see anyone sneaking around in the periphery. And it's a reasonably responsive screen, if not quite matching the latest gaming phones. And it's good news if you're a bit of a gaming addict as well, because the Xperia Spirit War Mark II does well even when you're smashing through your favourite title for a solid two hours straight. The back of the device got a little bit warm but nothing as bad as I thought it would be. And Sony's clever HS power control feature definitely helps out there too if you actually need to plug in the phone because you're almost out of juice. And this feature reduces the power absorption to a mere trickle charge to prevent the phone from overheating and potentially damaging those precious internals. While also giving you enough juice to merrily blast as many strangers in the face with a shotgun as you like until your bloodlust is finally sated. And that's just one of many nifty tools buried away in the game enhancer menu which can be dragged onto the screen at any time while you're bringing the pain. You've got the usual range of notification blockers and recording tools so you can upload your greatest victories to the interwebs in glorious full HD with optional commentary and gurning. In fact hands down one of the best things about Sony phones beyond the excellent media chops is the fantastic range of features stuffed in there on top of Android OS. For instance if you're done playing Android games you can stream your PS4 sessions to that beautiful display instead with full DualShock 4 support. SideSense is genuinely evolving into something worthwhile with its funky swipe gestures where you've got a proper always on display and some very useful bits like a one-handed mode. And no, I certainly won't wibble on about all my favourite Sony features again here in the review because I've already done that in my full Xperia 1 Mark II tips and tricks guys. So go check that out for a close look at the software and all the best bits. And no issues with the connectivity here on the Xperia 1 Mark II either, at least here in the UK. You've got full Wi-Fi 6 support and a good bit of 5G as well if you actually decide to stray out into a gorgeous post-apocalyptic world. But in the US, be warned, your bands are not welcome here, so you will be stuck with that basic LTE. And a 4000 milliamp battery is also crammed inside that skinny body, complete with the usual adaptive charging support to help prevent long-term damage. I found that even on pretty busy days with a fair bit of media streaming and camera play and such forth, I could just about make it to bed with a bit of charge remaining just about. Some days it was a really close thing. And uh, on those days where I decided to do a bit of Zoom and Skype and things like that, I really, really struggled. So I sometimes had to plug it in around sort of 9, 10 o'clock at night. And while the 15 watt wireless charging support isn't as quick as some rivals like the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Huawei P40 Pro, it is still at least great to finally see that option on a Sony blower. Now one of the biggest upgrades for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II compared with the original flagship phone is undoubtedly that camera tech. On paper, the setup sounds like it really hasn't changed at all. You once again have a triple set of 12 megapixel lenses covering a full range of focal lengths from ultra wide to telephoto. However, from the glass to the sensors stuffed inside, the whole shebang has been ripped out and redeveloped with a little bit of help from Zeiss as well as Sony's own alpha imaging department. And complete with an excellent new photo pro mode, the Xperia 1 Mark II has a lot to offer experienced photographers as well as those of us who just prefer to point and shoot. And I've fully tested out the Xperia 1 Mark Two's camera tech score, check out my in-depth review right now for all you need to know about the photo and the video quality. And that right there is my full Sony Xperia 1 Mark II review and why I enjoyed using it as my full-time handset. Now, of course, yes, it is expensive at hell at over a grand. You can sometimes find it under a grand with some uh, trade-in deals and things like that. But yeah, it's right up there with the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Just about offers enough 
cutting edge hardware and innovative features to justify that sky high asking price. It's not quite the perfect smartphone of course though the battery life could be a little bit stronger for sure and of course that 4k display is still underutilized. And if you don't happen to have so much cash in the bank that you just wipe your ass with 10 pound notes for giggles then guess what you've got the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II as an alternative option. I'm actually going to be getting that unboxed and reviewed straight after this bad boy so yeah definitely stay tuned for my in-depth coverage on that. Please do bug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, burp, 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 and have yourselves a lovely weekend people. Cheers everyone, love you!